now we proceed as Flandre through the labyrinth. Luckily, we're right on bottom floor 19. If you want to see the entire story unfold of Flandre's fantastical past and memories, uh, you'll have to see the last part. Nonetheless, your power is overwhelming. Too overwhelming. Pretty much anything that runs in a Flandre, you know you're probably expected to lose. You don't stand much of a chance if you cross Flandre. Just destroys everything in the room. Complete annihilation. So Flandre was technically locked away in the basement for 495 years. Some say Flandre was kept captive by her sister, Vermelia. Others say Patrulli was the culprit. And in this story, it's kind of implied that as well. Patrulli had something to do with this labyrinth. Only Flandre is technically free outside of the first time that she was actually discovered by Marisa. That would be the canon part of the lore. So we don't technically need to fight, but it is pretty fun to play as the, technically the final boss of the game. She didn't really have good ranged options. Even the fireball ability she has doesn't even explode. 11,000 damage. Has the potential to wipe everything out. Love attain. We need to stop Patchouli's evil schemes. I wonder what... Why did Flandre accept? Did Patchouli offer Flandre something? And then Flandre accepted the proposal. We need to know for sure exactly what the actual issue is. Ouch. Levitane didn't one-shot them, despite it should always. Can't resist the Levitane. She gets invulnerability during that, too. That's a lot of invulnerability for him for that kind of attack. Uh-oh, it's another Gold Knight. No matter, we'll fall like the rest of them. With the power of the curved stick. Some, with some European design. The Hexfire is back too. The boss fountain, we made it to the bottom again. Patchouli. I knew it. This must be the last room. Patchouli, what are you doing? We have to fight her again. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's you, Miss Flan. What brings you all the way down here? I have a big favor to ask, Patchouli. Well, ask away. I'd be glad to do whatever I can for you. Great! Then please get me out of here. I could understand if it was night. But it's still the middle of the day. But my sister got to go out. It's not fair. Did you see the condition? The mansion is in. It's dangerous to wander around outside right now. I think it's better if you just stay inside for now and wait until this whole incident gets sorted out. But that's boring. Who's going to entertain me if I just sit around here? I suppose I will. Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Let the good times roll! Starting off with the same attacks she did the first time. Well, this part's gotta be a heck of a lot easier now. Now that we have control of Flandre, she fights exactly the same as well. 
Oh yeah, not a chance. You cannot defeat Flandre. Literally impossible. What you doing? The wall to move. Ouch. Love a thing. Has a really good range on it too. It doesn't have the range uh, slash arc that it usually does, but so pretty effective. But really, what were you thinking? Ow! Her range attacks are definitely not gonna help us with this fight. Flounder is like pretty much a pure melee character. Miss me? Love attain. So technically, if Flandre were to use Levitane on Patchouli, wouldn't she actually die from it? Oh, she disappeared. It's happening. Flandre never liked Patchouli after all. Phew, I'm beat. You're really something else, Miss Flan. You got all quiet, Patchouli. So what are we going to do now? Are you going to take me out? I'm afraid not. You're going to stay here. You can't leave this dungeon on your own, and no one but me knows how to get you out. And so here you'll stay, at least until things calm down outside. So what you're saying is... That I'm leaving alone, yes. Ah, It's just for now. I'll come back here when this whole mess is behind us. Ugh, fine. I'm gonna take a nap, so wake me up when you come back. But fair warning, I'm probably not gonna be in a great mood when I wake up. I'll keep that in mind. And then Romelia found her later. Ugh. I can't believe I passed out. My memory is all hazy, but I feel like I touched Flandre's memory somehow. Huh? Was this here all along? I don't know what this is doing lying around, but I suppose it won't hurt if I borrow it for a while. I guess I need to give Flan a treat after this is all over. Curse Claw Levitane. We got Flandre's weapon. Which is uh, apparently worse than ours. However, had we had acquired this sooner, this is technically what you were supposed to use in the fight against Flandre. I, I would think so, unless you got lucky to get something like the Big Bang Claws or the Crisis Claws. But if you didn't have another option, the Curse Claws, I'm guessing, is what you were supposed to use all along. Oh well. Barry still took over the mansion, too. What's up with that? Now, we do have one more objective to take care of. I also don't remember if she got another skull or not. Doesn't look like it. I remember, I don't, you might have to do the true ending first, but you can actually give Romelia a levitating ability as well. Or actually, no, wait a second, I think I remember how it works. You have to equip it. Enable us to use a unique skill. Let's see what this is. It is not, in fact, an ultimate, surprisingly. Will that replace Vampire Spin? Levitane summons a sword of catastrophe to attack enemies of 16,000 damage. It's the most expensive spell in the game. We're using this. What the? Why can't we leave? So the way the true ending works is we actually have to go back to Kappa's huge factory and refight the final boss again. So be back shortly.
And we're back. Time for the rematch. And a special ending. The true ending. First we must refight the same enemies again. It'd be a lot easier now that we got Lovatane. Look at that. Took off half its life immediately. That is really costly though. And you're out. Thanks, Flandre. Alright, losers. It's time to repent and beg for mercy yet again. Now we gotta redo the fight with... Suika. It should technically be easier. Now that we got the power of love pain. Although she still packs a punch. Not that challenging, Sirika. Doing the multi claw attack is actually a better option due to its multi hit property. Uh oh. Ow. Forgot about the splash damage. What the? What's this move? Doing all sorts of abilities. That one's harder to do dodge because of the many Suikos. Had enough of this, Suika. Uh oh. What the? It's that splash damage that really gets you. Lava Pain. Not over though. Taste my power. Do you have enough fight loss in you to see what's next? Ha ha ha! I'm not done yet. What? She's just getting bigger and bigger. Didn't you see in the newspaper that said the moss is huger than a mountain? The robot you beat wasn't that big. In fact, the only thing that could hope to match that size is me. So you can get even bigger. Now, prepare to be stomped. Hold it right there. The whole team, the Scarlet Devil Mansion, even the Fairy Society to come along. Patchy, and the rest of you too, but no Flandre. Good, looks like we made it just in time. Sorry to keep you waiting. We're here to put an end to this. And I owe you an apology, Remy. I saw this coming a mile away, but even with that knowledge, I couldn't do anything before the mansion was attacked. Put an end to this. Ah, not even your master can do anything. What chance do you have? <laughs> Sunny, Code Scarlet, activate. Roger, Code Scarlet activated. <laughs> that robot. Didn't mi little Miss Muffet just bust up this robot? You wish. This is the Hishitensu MK2 Unit 2. Code name: Scarlet Furiosity. A red colored Unit 2. It seems so right, so natural. Why didn't I think of that? Or maybe the color shows us the Ace Commander's Unit. Oh man, I should have painted mine first. That's not the issue here. If they have a hose and can't do, that means they stole my blueprints. Now you're catching on. These fairies' abilities are rather handy for dubious work like that. Once we discovered your plan, we set to work on getting information and using it against you. Sorry, Luna and Sunny. 
<laughs> you three. So you were double agents, huh? I can't believe I was duped by a bunch of fairies. By the way, this might be your design, but I've made some special magical improvements myself. I'm ready to take you down. I like your confidence, but there's no difference between them to me. They're both just sealed dolls. I'd hold your tongue until after you beat it. If you can, that is. Alright, guess that's as good as an invitation to not hold back. Scarlet Furiosity. Full power. Bring it on. The ultimate flight. We don't get to see it though. Unfortunate. Boom. Ah, you got me. Wait, the match barely even started. Oh my goodness. I know building this with a rush job, but it's one punch. All it's got in it. Your robot fell apart already. I surrender. This victory is yours. I guess this is the end of our little sideshow. What sideshow? Well, here, feast your eyes on this fancy special issue. Ani vs. Vampire, Fight of the Century. What is this nonsense? Since that whole mess with the monsters has been laid to rest, the summer festival is being held as planned. The summer festival, huh? Come to think of it, there are a lot of street stalls in the village right now. But how do you figure the monster incident has been laid to rest when the cause of it is all standing there? Calm down, the monster that had people up in arms with the coppers robot. And besides, I asked the Tengu to run the special issue if the Scarlet Curiosity was finished in time. Ugh. So when we met at the newspaper office, that's what you came for. Yup, and thanks to this, people think the whole monster incident was just a rehearsal for our little sideshow at the summer festival. Pretty keen, right? In other words, you've been scheming this up that far back. Of course. I really didn't want the festival to be cancelled. That would be lame, lame, lame. My goal was to make sure they'd hold the summer festival. That's all I really wanted. I can't believe you did all this just for that. What kind of simpleton are you? She's the Ani kind, I'm afraid. Well, now that this side show's over, I'm sure the festival's already in full swing. And since you're all out and about anyway, you might as well go enjoy the festivities. Now we learn the truth of what's happened. And we're back here. Kawakuma. With different dialogue though. That's Misty on the right by the way. Miss Fatuli, this is amazing! I've never seen a candy devil so beautiful in my life! Myling said she'd bring Flan along later. She needs to learn how to properly enjoy a festival after all. If you insist. Are you worried about her? Flan made her own decision to say. She's a bit childish, but she's still mature enough to choose what she wants. So whenever Flan decides she wants to go out next, we can decide if we want to give her a helping hand. Is it really that simple? You worry too much. This is a festival. It would be rude not to enjoy ourselves. Remy. She's right, you know. The chocolate covered banana looks sinfully delicious. <coughs> All choked up, I see. I think you're enjoying it a little too graciously. Um. Do you think Suika is somewhere around here? I'm sure she is. With that whole monster menace behind us, maybe she's enjoying a drink or five in triumph. Even though she lost the fight, she got what she really wanted. It's like she was playing us the whole time. Still, 
It wasn't a bad way to kill some time, I have to admit. I'm glad to see you enjoyed yourself. I even heard you overcame your wish to sunlight. Is that true? This is kind of the same dialogue. It is. I felt so liberated. Being able to bath in the sun's light for the first time. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Use a dodgy spray. That doesn't sound like a very safe product. No more imitating humans. Since all the sordid details of this incident became public, now everyone knows the Kappa Owas. We could always ask them to improve on the spray. I'm fine, I assure you. Even if I could walk around outside, I would never be able to sleep. This is all the same. Hush, you. Just kidding. Not getting enough sleep is bad for your health. You're right, we know that because of Flandre. That's the spirit. Let the party begin. And this concludes our finale. So for anyone who's joined in watching this series, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to give a sub if you'd like. A uh, little conflicted as to what to play next exactly, but possibly Doll Draft and the consideration of doing a Dark Souls 1 Prepare to Die Again mod playthrough. Or maybe something else. But, hope that'll be fun to you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.